Celebrating cruising culture in the South Bay. Tonight, members and supporters of the United Lowrider Coalition came together. They're celebrating the passage of new legislation that will legalize cruising statewide and also recognizing the support they got in their fight. CBS 8's Richard Allen was there. He shows us what's planned for the Lowrider community this weekend. That's right, that legislation, AB 436, essentially paves the way for lowrider communities throughout California to honor their culture and do what they love without fear of punishment. And while the new law does not officially go into effect until January 1st, plenty of supporters here in National City are celebrating tonight. This is really where it all started with the community here of National City. Assemblymember David Alvarez introduced the legislation, a purely grassroots effort led by the United Lowriders Coalition here in the South Bay that garnered support by lowrider communities throughout the state. To be able to pass a law that was inspired by our own community here in San Diego uh, was really meaningful and significant. Alvarez was honored tonight at the United Lowriders Conference, where the coalition's new board members were also sworn in. That is a part of our culture. Yeah. Yeah, we have jobs, we have own homes, we have our families, but the lifestyle is the low riding and the cruising. Jovita Arellano is president of the United Lowriders Coalition, which successfully overturned National City's ban on cruising, which had been in effect since 1992 earlier this year. Following that victory, they focused on repealing the ban on a statewide level, receiving invaluable support and guidance from the city of Albuquerque, New Mexico. We're the first uh, uh, city in the nation to repeal our anti-cruising legislation. Jeff Hertz is policy advisor to the Albuquerque City Council. Friday night, the United Lowrider Coalition also recognized their assistance in helping to blaze the trail in lifting the cruising ban here in California. They advised us on so many things and they helped us, you know, not reinvent the wheel. They had already had it done, so we were able to capture that and put it towards National City. To see them now, you know, working at the state level and having that kind of an impact, it's, it's huge, you know. And an impact that's continuing to be felt. We need to know the history of low riding, and I think we need to um, see how much value it really brings to our communities. And the celebration doesn't end here. Tomorrow morning, there will be a special picnic celebrating AB 436 at Kimball Park here in National City from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. For more information, just go to CBS8.com, click on the online version of this story.